Hi, my name is Dan Doherty. I'm a writer and illustrator of comic books, comic strips, and children's books, as well as a musician. And I'd like to take a moment to talk to you a little bit about National Dyslexic Awareness Month, which is the month of October, and the Brent Sopel Foundation, uh, a foundation that's doing wonderful things right now to raise awareness and create a better understanding of dyslexia. Uh, while I'm not personally uh, dyslexic, I have had uh, moments in my life where uh, people very close to me uh, confided in me that they were uh, after sometimes decades of knowing them um, and th those moments uh, there's two that I can think of specifically uh, were um, very eye-opening in the sense that for one I'd gone that long without knowing it um, because they felt it needed to be hidden um, to make them appear as if they were just like everyone else, even though to me they already did, um, and two that they that they were carrying this secret alone um, when they really never had to. I understand why we all, you know, feel like we want to keep certain things we perceive as weaknesses to ourselves. But the reality was is that if they had never told me, I would have never known, um, because these are people that, uh, while also very near and dear to me uh, and whom I love very much um, are just brilliant, thoughtful, caring, hardworking individuals uh, who deserve just as uh, much attention and uh, dignity as anyone else. So um, I'm really glad to know that there's a, a foundation like the Brent Sopel Foundation that is working to raise awareness, uh, normalize, and to create a better understanding for dyslexia. Uh, it affects, from what I understand, uh, one in five people. Uh, so that's uh, that's 20% of our population, um, and that's just on the surface of the data that I, I learned from from Brent. Um, and I feel like uh, were we to normalize this more and to, and and have more communication about it, that so many more people would be helped as a result uh, to identify. Uh, and, and diagnose the way that they learn. Um, just imagine if, if we had more awareness on that, how many people's lives could actually be saved by, by this. Um, just the idea that being understood and, and um, being properly uh, pointed in the right direction as to how you, uh, you understand and process things, what, people, what we can do with that. So uh, if you get a chance, uh, and you're interested in the subject, or even if you've never really thought about it, but you want to learn a little bit more about something, check out the Brent Sopel Foundation. Uh, they're doing a lot of great work right now, and um, and you know, see what they have to say. Uh, like Brent says, you're not alone. Uh, I hope anyone out there who who has dyslexia or think that they may be dyslexic um, gets gets more involved and, and gets a better understanding about what the foundation's about because it's definitely something that needs to be given more attention. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.